My name is Cameron Zink. I'm 28 years old, and I live in Reno, Nevada. I've been riding bikes ever since a you know little kid. Anytime in the normal age of four or whatever it was, and I learned to ride. But I started racing when I was nine, and that's when it started to get pretty serious. And realized that it was something that I enjoyed more than soccer or baseball or anything like that. So nine was kind of the, the beginning of the end. Cam was like wild in the sense that he just wanted to destroy everything. <laughs> When I met him, they just like wanted to break everything and they, they were just crazy. I don't even know how to explain it. And I was really like quiet and shy and, and I never really was into drinking or anything. I'd go to parties, but he would be the guy at the party um, just taking beer bongs and freaking jumping through a window or something crazy. Sit, 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 sit. Sorry for partying. Yeah, I was definitely a bit of a wild child. I made fair run-ins with the law and and always in trouble. And uh, but I I figured things out on my own. You know, it's like and, you know, I always wanted to break the rules because it's like you can't do this. And uh, learning all my learning experiences learned way better if it was me learning on my own, learning the hard way. It absolutely shapes how I ride. You know, someone says you can't do this, and it's like well. Who are you to say that, you know? Like, straight always tell me that I love crashing and stuff. It's like, no, I know, I'm just not scared to crash to get what I want. I see that it's possible and I may not have laid the groundwork. It's just a lot of a lot of things, just my mentality, and that's just, that's why I am what I am, and it's not the way most people go about it, but it's worked for me, and there's obviously been some ups and downs and some, some serious injuries because of things like that, but that's just, the, that's why I am what I am. Sorgi's got a pretty funny quote. He calls me the, the most confident man in mountain biking. I mean, who knows, maybe I am because I know that other people get scared and I know that I get scared, but, and I'm like, I'm not the most confident man, but like I look at other people, I'm like, maybe they're even more scared than I am when they don't look like they are, I don't know. But I think it just comes with, uh, is, yeah, just willing to take the licks and, and going for it is at all costs. He's so confident and like, I just never see him, like he's, he's never afraid of it. You know, I see the other guys get nervous and get in their own head and, and he's so confident. He always tells me, you know, I always get so scared and I try not to let that show too much because I don't want to get in his head, but he always tells me, you know, like I, I'm not stupid. Like I wouldn't do this if I didn't truly think that I could do it. Yeah, any, anything that I ever thought was important before is immediately surpassed by Ayla. And, and I'm sure any dad will tell you that, any mom will tell you that. And it's just, it's indescribable. I mean, people try to tell me before I had a daughter of what it could be like, and you can't even, you can't put it into words, and you definitely can't understand it until you have a child of your own. I was a little nervous because I mean, as long as I've known him, we've never really had friends that had kids, or he's never really had any family that has younger kids. And I grew up with kids, and I've just always really had a thing for just kids. And so to see him just take to it so well, and like, I remember being in the hospital right after we had her, I, I couldn't hardly move, and and she needed a diaper change. And I was like, oh, can you like lay her on my lap so I can do it? And he's like, oh, I've got this. He just took to it like that day, you know, he. He's just been a great dad. He's, he's so loving with her and just wants to eat her up and she just 
loves her daddy. Daddy, daddy, daddy all the time, that's what she says. There's kind of a lot of reasons I started Census. My dad is an entrepreneur, I always wanted to start a business. I've always feel like I'm keen for that and the being hurt year in, year out and having winners to do nothing. I needed some way to something to do and and needed a creative outlet. I chose grips because I just felt like I could make a better grip than anyone else. Like I feel like people push through the R and D process and development so fast and things like that that they don't get they don't live up to their potential and you know, I just really, really really enjoy like designing something like that I couldn't like the, the feeling of getting the first samples the first thing I ever designed from start to finish was a uh, like the greatest feeling in the world it provided me a platform for the future and essentially a resume because if you put on my resume before our professional bike rider 17 to 28 years old you know no matter how much other things you do in the industry people are gonna be like okay why am I gonna hire you or why am I gonna give you a loan you know so the other day it's actually right in my uh, my resume, and you know it got put census founder marketing, all these other titles on it for for five years, and uh, you know it adds something and it gave gave me the platform for the future and other ventures, which it seems to be working out pretty well so far. I'd want to be remembered for pushing the sport for sure. I mean I. I feel like I'm every time that I'm pushing myself and the, a lot of the decisions I make are also for the good of the sport. I think that he, he's still, always still going to ride bikes and he's always still going to be in the industry. He's there's no oh where did Cam whatever happened to him that will never happen. Like he will always be in it somehow some way. He he loves the sport. He's on the fucking podium. I just want to get more out of mountain biking than it got out of me, I guess. Pushing through the injuries and, and trying, to, trying to make the mountain bike world a better place.